Hey, homeschool hoopla. I've decided to come back to the question of should I homeschool with a second part because as I've had time to reflect on that question some more on behalf of people who are um, giving it serious consideration, I realize that there is a equally significant question that falls under that umbrella, which is, can I, am I, am I capable, am I qualified? And a lot of parents may be wrestling with that as well. And so I just wanted to share some of my thoughts there because anybody who is spending any time at all on Homeschool Hoopla on the blog has probably quickly found out that Jessica and I both have a background in education. Um, we both obtained teaching degrees and taught in public schools for, for a while before choosing to homeschool our children. And then you may be feeling intimidated or like that it works for us because we have those degrees, but it might not work for any other common mom. And so I wanted to um, share with you and encourage you to think of it a different way. To be honest, all of the upbringing in public education and the training in, um, for my teaching degree is doing nothing for me as a homeschool educator. Um, I don't have to worry about classroom management for 30 plus children. I don't have to think about writing out lesson plans of one particular subject for each um, class of students. It's a whole different ball game, uh, and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Um, I spend time with my children. We we live and we learn together every day. And what's most valuable to them is that, although I don't know everything, and I'll freely and often admit that to them. I am willing to model for them good learning habits and to walk them through understanding something that they don't know and that I might not know either. So we can arrive together um, at, at knowledge and understanding. It's no secret that my family participates in classical conversations and I like what they often share in their trainings which is um, to encourage and equip parent educators as lead learners. It's so freeing to think that we don't have to know it all. We don't have to be able to teach um, a perfect lesson of every subject that they'll ever encounter. We just have to be willing to learn with them. We have to be willing to walk alongside them and to seek out information that we need to know. I also was remembering um, attending the Great Homeschool Convention in 2014 and sitting in one of the sessions by Susan Wise Bauer and one of the things that she said that I still remember is that we have a tendency um, to approach education as a finite body of information that every child must attain. But the reality is education, the, the list of noble things is vast and it's ever growing. If we had been able to learn a thousand years ago, we'd have a lot less that we needed to know, <laughs> less history, less science, less everything. But as it is, every day we're adding to the history books. Every day we're making new scientific discoveries and there's more and more to know. We can't possibly expect for our children to learn everything that there is to learn by the time they graduate high school. So there will be gaps. There will be things that they go off to college not knowing, but those gaps will be filled in as they need to be. In fact, there's things here I am at almost 40 years old that I still don't know that I'm learning with my children or that I'm reclaiming in my education that I've forgotten themes. <laughs> um, it's going to be okay. I also wanted to share, I, I had dinner with a friend the other night who has a three-year-old. Um, and so she's looking into what to do for preschool, what does he need to know. She came across a, a kindergarten readiness list and was listing off the things. Um, they should know all of their letters, uh, to recognize all of their letters in both capital and lowercase, all of the phonemes. They should be able to string together phonemes to pronounce simple words. They should know their birth date. They should know their address. They should know and the list went on and she was starting to feel anxious and worried about would her child be able to even keep up? Would he know these things? Would he be behind from the very beginning? And I just found myself shaking my head thinking, 
Children are all so different and they're gonna learn things at a pace that's right for them. Part of the problem that we run into when we have to group them together in such large gatherings and set standards and benchmarks is that not everybody is ready at that same exact age. I told her, I'm not even sure if my first grader knows when his birthday is. So I asked him and he did. And then I said to her, but if he didn't, if he got to second grade and he still didn't know his birthday, I would tell him and then he'd know. <laughs> so it's gonna be okay. Don't feel like you need to know everything that there is to know in order to be qualified to teach. Your time invested in your children one-on-one -on -one is far more valuable than any professional teaching degree or any number of professional teaching degrees that um, feed into their lives. Your personal investment in your children feeding into their lives year after year outweighs in value those things. And so be encouraged, uh, be inspired, know that there are abundant opportunities for equipping and learning and partnering together with other moms who are in the same boat as you.